ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Non-Cooperators. We are continuing some more Resident Evil Degeneration, and we are at Chapter 2, Arrivals. Unfortunately, I actually had to use, you know, the light, which obviously you can see the reflection here, and the reflection of the light right here, and it's, 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 it's bullshit. It's bullshit. I, I don't know how to get rid of it. It's, very, it's, it's a pain in the goddamn ass. It's this by ceiling light that I have to turn on, unfortunately. So, humor me. So here we are, we're running around, running around with our Punisher pistol. I'm pretty sure the Punisher pistol is actually in Resident Evil uh, uh, 4. I could be mistaken, though. There could be another Resident Evil games as well. I'm not too, I'm not too sure about that one either. I keep forgetting I gotta put this around me. It bothers me. Don't tell me that plane's gonna be, uh, like, flooded with zombies. They're all just gonna keep be coming out going, Oh no, it's the start of the game! Resident Evil Degeneration! After, what, three goddamn episodes and we finally get to the goddamn title of the game? Just in case if you didn't remember. Leon, come in. What is it now? You're playing Resident Evil Degeneration! Really?! Holy shit! Hunnigan, this is Leon. You're at the side of the plane crash. No shit. I'm looking at it right now. So, what, um... Uh, so, this is what uh, started, uh, started all of this, huh? Yes. Can you see any signs of survivors? I doubt anyone survived this. I can see any special... Uh, I can't see any special forces either. Looks like uh, the wreckage of the plane is blocking ha um, half of the hall, uh, hall though. I'm going to have to go through the wreckage to look for special forces operatives on the other side uh, side of the lobby. Are you sure uh, sure that's... No, it's not the best idea. I'm worried about the survivors in the VIP lounge, so I'll have to uh, get the password fast. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hi. How you doing? You know what they look like? They, they don't look like zombies. They look like deadites. Oh, great. Oh, shit. They look like dead. They, oh, there we go. All right, they look like deadites from fuck. From uh, Evil Dead. Come on, you know that hand grenade actually might be pretty good right now. Shit. Like I said, this is not easy, guys. They were slower. Yeah, yeah. Plead for me, motherfucker. If they were slower, that would have been a little bit better. And further away, yeah. Alright, let me use that. Cause, damn. And now you give me a goddamn hand grenade, you bastard. Okay. Where were we? Um, more health. Can't mix anything, can we? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, you know what that just reminded me? It just said Resident Evil Degeneration, like mid midway through the game. That's the same exact thing that happens in Resident Evil 4. Right after you, uh... Uh, clear out the village and everything, and they're done fighting you. They're like, oh, fuck, I don't, I don't want to fight Leon anymore. He's like, oh, what the hell happened? Resident Evil 4! That's what happened. Resident Evil 4. Crashed plane. In all honesty, this plane would have actually all been on fire, but is this kind of cool, that you, the fact that you actually did get to uh, go on the, go on the uh, crashed plane? Oh, shit. I can't see. Come on. Hate having nails. I know, I feel like a woman is like, uh, you know, like those women, those women with those super duper, holy shit, this long nails and they like, they, they type with them. I don't even know how they type with them. Fucking die. Jesus. Holy shit. Can you take a bullet? I really, now I'm really, am considering this was a shitty gun to get. Fuck. Anyway, oh, what's that? Uh, health? No, silver necklace. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, um, shit, pause. We don't have a treasure map, do we? Damn. Okay, it's good. It's all good. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. All bad. And these girls with these nails, they, 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 they type with them. They also, touch, they also use the touch screen with their nails. It's impressive. It is impressive. No, I'm not judging or anything. It's just... The only thing that I just, I just make fun of them, honestly. Because I, all I think about is from uh, 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 Mrs. Doubtfire. When uh, they're doing his nails. And he's doing like the accent and everything. I forgot what he was talking about. It's like, um, shit, hang on. 
<laughs> I think this is too much for the children. And he has the, the long nails and everything. I think this is too much for the children. Ah, oh, such a great movie with uh, Robin Williams. One of his best, in my opinion. One of them. Like, I, for, for like a, a childhood movie, because I saw that when I was a kid. Like, one of his best. Like, obviously, another good one was, um, like, like more in touch with, like, uh, not funny side, but more in touch with, like, his more uh, acting side. I think it was, like, Good Will Hunting or something like that. Because he's in a lot of movies. I mean, even Insomnia, he's not even a funny guy in that one. He's a bad guy in that one, ironic enough. Um, oh, what was that other movie I'm thinking of? Uh, Give me a second, I'll come to One Hour Photo. That movie was a little bit messed up and twisted, and he, but he was also very good in it. Anyway, I think, I think it, what it is is that the fact that people only see Robin Williams only as a funny actor. Shit, 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 shit. Fire! They only see him as a funny actor. He only stars in mostly funny movies. It's very hard to see him, like, in a serious role. But when he does serious role, he does not fail. He is very, very good. Shit. I mean, the guy went to, uh, what was the school? Uh, Ju uh, passenger's Will. The plane is descending. We are going down. Right in this, uh, surrounded by monsters. Everyone is turning. I'll become one of them. Or we'll, we'll crash first. No humans left alive. Oh, God, please. I don't want to die. To my beautiful wife, I love you always. And that's it. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah, he went to school. Uh, what was it? Juli uh, Juilliard, I think that's what it was called. School for Juilliard School, and he graduated um, with another with one with one of his friends, which was uh, Christopher Reeve, also another very good actor who played um, uh, Super Superman. All right, for real, where are we going? I am so lost. This is not cool at all. What's oh wait here? I think so. Yep, yep. We're supposed to be going there. I think we're supposed to be going there. I don't. Just random door open. There we go. Just go. Just. Walk right in. There we go. If there's zombies in there, I think we're going the right way. Arrivals. Oh, quick time, I think. I think that the engine just started. Yep, the engine just started. Dodge. Just run, run, run. Oh, the the if I the, the suitcase went right into the uh, the engine, sucking me in. That was too close. Hunting is like, why the fuck are you telling me? I don't give a shit. Or like, what are you talking about? I'm not even looking at uh, I'm on the other side of the wreckage. Glad to hear you. Uh, glad to hear you made it, Leon. Can you see the special forces operatives anywhere? I'm looking right now. I'll call you back, Hunnigan. Hello, any special forces members? Anyone? Let me look at the map. Uh, looks like all the doors are closed. Or locked, rather. I don't even know. I do. No point even checking. Ah, oh, man, I'm tired. I know already. Yeah, baggage and yada yada yada. Oops. Alright, so let's not even bother going through these doors and just go straight to the actual objective itself. Granted that I actually would like to get, um... Hang on. I would like to get, you know, treasure, but I don't know where if there is any treasure around here whatsoever. I would actually need the treasure map. Are you gonna wake up? Oh, you're already up. You're dying. Hey. Ugh. Take it easy. Tell me what happened. A lot of shit. Uh, we were going through the underground tunnels. We're trying to reach the others. I don't know how to describe what I saw, but it was not an average zombie. I panicked. I ran away. Then I, I locked the door behind me. Like a coward. Like a coward. I told you to access the VIP. Uh, I'm told to access the VIP lounge. My team uh, should, uh, uh, sh uh, should have it. I'm running out of time. I need the password. Me the password memo. Alright, the door to the other end of the lobby leads to the underground. Take uh, this weapon. A coward has no use for it. Only a, f a shotgun. Okay, cool. With some ammo! Hanukkah, I'm about to proceed to the underground. Understood. Uh, I found the operative. He became uh, separated from his team. Uh, his team has the password. I'm going to investigate and make the way uh, topside. I'll get the password to the, for the VIP lounge in no time. Great. The airport underground is compl is, is uh, complicated. I have uh, marked the exit of the VIP lounge on your device. Alrighty then, Hunnigan. I'm going to take some more shotgun ammunition. And he said, this weapon has no use for a coward. A coward uses a goddamn shotgun, or rather a friggin' uh, 
uh, which we we'll call it, a big ass bazooka or something like that. Chapter two cleared already. Wow. So I feel like now we're just clearing chapters left uh, willy nilly. So uh, chapter two, uh, times killed. Not. I used two health items, I guess, and we cleared. Wow, it's seven minutes. Really? I don't know. It felt longer. I mean, granted, this episode's already been running about ten minutes, uh, ten and a half minutes long. So, whatever. So I guess we'll probably might be doing uh, chapter per chapter, uh, per uh, per chapter per episode, something like that. So. Next time on the non-cooperators, we're going to continue with some more Resident Evil Degeneration, and we'll see you next time. Where did you come from?